In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a tab strip and a multi-page user form in Excel. These features look very similar, but they're quite different. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is the tab strip. Here we have a list of names here, three, three different lists, and they're, they're names that were generated from a random name generator. And so what we're going to do is we're going to break these into categories. So the first category, we're going to select the names and we're going to go up to the name box and we're going to type in carpenters. And press enter. And then we're going to select the second list of names and we're going to name this range electricians. And we're going to select the third group of names and we're going to name those plumbers. Press enter. So if you drop down the list arrow on the name range, you can see we have the carpenters, electricians, and plumbers. So now let's go to the developer tab and let's go to the visual basic. And what we're going to do is we're going to go insert and we're going to go user form. If you don't have the properties dialog box up here, what you're going to do is you're going to right click your user form and you're going to select properties uh, dialog box to come up as well. When you click on your user form, you get the toolbox coming up. So if you scroll across it, it tells you what everyone is. And when you get to the tab strip, we're going to click on that. And we're going to draw a box that's quite large in our user form. Not knowing anything about tab strips, what you're going to do is let's say a tab box and we're going to put it on there. And you know what, when you click on the second tab, the same thing is going to come up. So whatever you put on the first tab is going to go on the second tab. So now let's remove these. I click on the box and I press delete. So we have three categories of workers that, that we had named on our sheet. And so what we're going to do is we want to put a third tab on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the box to highlight it and then click again. And you'll get diagonal lines surrounding your tab strip box. Now, if you right click on the second tab, you can add a new page. And so now you have tab one, tab two and tab three. To enter stuff on here, we need to differentiate between the three of them. So let's click on tab one. And if you go to the properties box, uh, close to the bottom, and it says value equals zero. If you go to tab strip two, go to the properties box and the value equals one. And the third one, we go there and the value equals two. Okay, let's go back to tab one. And now let's double click on tab one. And you're going to get up this, um, this code area. So what we're going to do is we're going to use case select here. So I'm going to enter select case, select case tab strip value. And I'm going to press enter. So I'm going to say case is zero. Equal to and zero. Then I'm going to say list box. One 
row source equals carpenters. And when you put uh, quotation marks around carpenters, and quotation marks. Now I do the rest for the other the other two. So now I've done the same thing for the other two tabs. So the case is one, then the list box resources electricians, case is two, list box row sources plumbers, and then I end in select. So I go back to my user form. I click on the user form so I get the toolbox up. I go over until I find the list box, and here it is. And so what I'm going to do is I can click on the list box and now I'm going to drag it right here. So now let's run this and see what we're doing. See how it looks. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on the run button here. And look, I have nothing in my tab two or tab one. So let's go to tab two and look the name two. The names are in there and three, the names are in there. Now let's go back to tab one, and the, the names are in there as well. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to initialize our form. So what we're going to do to initialize it is we're going to double click on the user form. And then it uh, brings up private sub user form click and we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're going to change the click on the drop down menu on the right here and we're going to select initialize and then it brings us a whole new set of code what we're going to do is we're going to delete this code here now the only line that we need to have in this is we need to call our tab strip so that Whenever you open I open the the user form, this will this code will come in force. First of all, let's copy this because I always get my typing bad. So let's control C that. And then we're gonna go call and control V. And that's all we need. So now let's go back to our user form. So we would like to change the tabs now. So it doesn't say tab one, tab two, tab three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our tab and then we're gonna click again to get our diagonal lines here. We're gonna right click on the tab number and we're gonna say rename. And so what we're gonna call um, this first one is we're gonna call it carpenters. And we'll say OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the second one and we're going to rename it. And we're going to call this one electricians. And we'll say OK. And then we're going to call the third one and we're going to rename it. And we're going to call this plumbers. Okay. So now that we've got this all done, we're going to run, run our user form. And there you have, you have everything in its spot when you start. So that's how you do a user form with, with tab strips. Now let's go on to creating one with multi pages. So now let's go back to our, our Visual Basic window and we're going to insert another user form. Okay, so let's make this one quite large. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have our toolbox here. And the last one we have is multi-page. And so let's click on that and draw it on our, our user form. These 
ones are quite different. Um, you can put, for example, I can put I can put a text box here, and I can say, um, and I can call this uh, test. And when you click on page two, it doesn't come up. So what this does, it's like instead of having um, one super long user form, you can extend the user form into different pages for different categories of information that you're trying to retrieve from the from the user, and every page is different. All of the different labels appear like they're in one user form. You, re, you call them like they're on one user form. So basically, it's basically one user form that's written, broken down into a number of different pages. You can add a new page similar to how you did with the tab strips. And you can have as many pages as you need to get all your information on your user form. So that's the difference between a tab strip on your user form and a multi-page user form. I will include the code that I've used in this, uh, in this video on, in the description of my video. Please subscribe.